I'm here now with Michael Statler, a faculty member at the University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center PA program, and she's a candidate for our position of president. And uh, good afternoon, Michael. Oh, good afternoon, Howard. Uh, my first question is, why do you want to become president of PAEA? Well, my interest in being on the board actually started about four years ago when I was on a committee. And being involved on a national level was extremely rewarding, developing things for programs. Now being on the board for four years and working with all of my colleagues to help realize PAEA's mission and vision has been equally gratifying. It's now time to take my service to the next level and see what we can do to further advance the work of the association. Well, thank you. The next question is what does excellence in PA education look like? Well, excellence in PA education can really be defined by a number of different parameters. To begin with, it's just the grad, uh, our graduates successfully transitioning into clinical practice. Graduates who are instilled with attitudes of lifelong learning, as well as those same attitudes in our faculty. It's also defined by seamlessly integrating diversity and inclusion into the recruitment of our students, our faculty, and our staff. Um, other uh, aspects of excellence are helping our faculty realize their potentials as educators, whether we're talking about somebody who's new to PA education or we're talking about somebody who's a more experienced faculty member and they're now transitioning to positions of leadership. Um, further, it's just, you know, when you think about excellence, it's a dynamic process. It's ongoing. It's not something that is just defined once, but we continue to move forward. Uh, so that we continue to have good outcomes for our students as well as our programs. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And in our last 20 seconds, is there anything you'd like to add? I guess the other thing that, that I would add is um, that we're in a period of transition in the association. And so we're bringing a new CEO on board and that's a very exciting time in the, in the life of the association. One of the things that I like to think that I can bring to the table is I've been an educator for over 20 years. I've worn every hat there is to wear. I also had the distinct privilege of serving on staff, so I got to see the other side of PA education. And now having been on the board for four years, that's even expanded my view of PA education. So I see myself as a resource. I see myself as a mentor. I'm also somebody who's good at listening and keeping an open mind to help the new CEO transition into their new role.